Today, I'd like to talk to you about our recent work on the discovery of a new mode of collective invasion that can be used by cancer, colorectal cancer, to disseminate. And if you want further detail on this work, it is already available in BioArchive. So what we found previously in the, in the lab is that colorectal cancer, and in particular the mucinous subtype, is able to disseminate into the peritoneal space by producing clusters of about 100 cells that are invading collectively, but without presenting the key features that have been observed in the only mode of collective invasion um, described so far. So this to us indicated that there is a new mode of collective invasion to be described. And indeed, using microfluidic devices, we could show that clusters are able to move into confined non-adhesive spaces without the formation of focal adhesions, which are classically observed in collective invasion, but rather relying on their actomyosin contractility in order to move forward. And amazingly, these clusters, although made up of about 100 cells, they were able to coordinate uh, to, to, to behave like one giant supercell, and their migration was more reminiscent of what can be observed in single cells like leukocytes that are doing amoeboid migration. So by analogy, we call this new mode of migration collective amoeboid migration. And from the point of view of cancer cells, it is very advantageous to be able to use this amoeboid mode of migration. Because indeed, in the classical uh, collective invasion, you're relying on your ability to interact with the extracellular matrix to invade. And since every organ is made up of a different extracellular matrix, and that cancer cells are only expressing a subset of these receptors, they only are able to invade a limited number of organs. On the other hand, because amoeboid migration does not rely on the formation of adhesion with the matrix, theoretically, cancer cells using this mode of migration are able to invade any kind of matrices throughout the body. So that's why we think it is very important to study this process in order to identify targets that can be used in the clinic um, to oppose cancer dissemination for the patients.